we have let's see, we have pentagon, hexagon, hexagon, hexagon. That's exactly what you see with our road map. If you look at this, we have our first pentagon, and it goes hexagons all the way down. Now, in the middle hexagon, we then go to the left and the right, have other hexagons, and then we have our second and third pentagons to complete this tile. Okay, so I want to locate where those two pentagons should go. All right, because I think I have all the hexagons now. So let's see. So starting again with our top pentagon, I go down to the center hexagon. I have my two hexagons on either side of it, and beyond those here, okay, and here I need pentagons. So I need a pentagon there and there. So I'm going to try to make a pentagon right here. Okay, so let's try to do that. Okay, making a pentagon here. Uh, so let's see, I'm going to need a blue. Okay. And now let's see, I have one, two, three, four, so I need a third one here for the uh, last side of that pentagon. So let's take this. Another pentagon, yeah, now let's go back and look. Where is that center hexagon? Center hexagon was here. Because then I had this, then I made my pentagon, but now I want to do the other side. Hexagon here, I need a pentagon right here. Okay, so let's see, I'm going to put another blue here. Close up this pentagon. Yeah. So, oh, give me that. So, pentagon. Uh, now look at what we just did. Check this out. Um, I just made one, what I call a tile, of my buckyball. I have a pentagon up here, where my finger is. I got another pentagon here, mm -hmm. and then another pentagon here. And in between, I have all the hexagons in my roadmap. Now I just have to repeat this, okay? Um, in other words, this, this roadmap, remember, is just one tile. This is what's happening between all three um, triples of pentagons you see around your buckyball. Remember, there's got to be 12 of them. In fact, here's a good way to think about it, okay? Like I said before, every buckyball has exactly 12 pentagons. You can prove that using something called Euler's formula and doing some other combinatorics. Okay? Every buckyball, that is every polyhedron with all hexagons and pentagon faces with all vertices degree 3, just like basically anything you can make out of the phys unit with only pentagons and hexagon faces, will have to have exactly 12 pentagons. And if you want your buckyball to be spherical, you know, like a classic carbon molecule or something, you want those pentagons to be arranged symmetrically. And since there's 12 of them, that means they're going to correspond to the vertices of an icosahedron, which is this classic uh, platonic solid. It got 12, tw 20 triangle faces. Um, if you're familiar with role-playing games, that is the same thing as a D20. Mm -hmm. So uh, you want to think of these pentagons as landing on every corner of your icosahedron. And there's 12 corners to your icosahedron, okay? And so in other words, you can, uh, you can consider one triangle face of your icosahedron as being one of these tiles. It has pentagons, right? Pentagons on all of its corners. So that makes a triangle tile on which you put one of these. Blah! Okay, and then Next to this will be another triangle piece. So you're going to want to take your roadmap and say, ah, I've done this now. Now I need to go over here and make another one. And its pentagons are going to line up with this, the pentagons here. So I just need to fill in more hexagons over here using the same pattern. And then there'll be another pentagon over here somewhere. Okay. And that's going to give you your second tile. And you keep going around. There's going to have to be 12 pentagons around, I mean, 12 hexagons around this pentagon, right? That means 12 of these tiles. And they're going to overlap, like right at, say, this hexagon, 
um, over here. And then, so some of the hexagons between the tiles will overlap, all right? But this is your roadmap. This is the guide you want to follow as you go around and as it starts becoming more spherical, all right? So this one here, when it's done, I think this one takes, I think, 360 units. Um, and I have one here. Uh, uh, actually, let me get it. It's back of me. This one. This is that same buckyball. Um, the coloring is different. I did something weird with the coloring. But uh, if we look around it, this is kind of old too, but if you look, you see, okay, here's a pentagon. And if I look for other pentagons, there's one here. Okay. And there's one here. So if I look in between these two pentagons and the one I showed you at the top, if you look carefully, it actually does look like our tile that we just made. I have hexagon and hexagon, hexagon. In between those is the center hexagon. I go straight up and there's my other pentagon. Like same tile that we saw here. It's happening all over on this one. This is the completed thing. Okay, yeah. Now, I hope that helps. <laughs> if you look at any buckyball, it will have some pattern like this. This one is a different pattern. Let's look for the pentagons, okay? Um, here's a pentagon. I'll put my finger in that. There's a pentagon right there. Where's another pentagon? Here's a pentagon. Okay, so they've got two pentagons. Now, check that out. Between these two pentagons, I have a straight row of hexagons. That did not happen in the previous one. In this one, I had pentagon pentagon and not a straight row I just had a single like I had like an edge you know edge and then hexagon then another edge so that's different than what's going on here where we have pentagon and then another pentagon and in between I just have two hexagons kind of edge to edge but if I look for a third pentagon I think you can maybe see one here third pentagon like right there okay then our tile for this one all right looks a little bit different. There is a center hexagon, but it, I don't have like a, a vertical row of, of hexagons that I'm following here. Okay, it's just like here I have hexagons going along the, uh, the bottom, along the side, and along the other side, and then a hexagon in the middle. That's the tile for this one. Okay, the smaller one here, uh, I think was 120 pieces of paper. This one, let's see, I have a pentagon here, there, it has one hexagon in between. And now where's the third pentagon? Here's the third pentagon. So I got hexagon, hexagon. I got three hexagons between my three pentagons. Isn't that interesting? Can you see that very well? Yeah, maybe that looks better. Yeah. So uh, that's kind of, oh no, that's a hexagon. Here we go. Yeah. Three hexagons between my three pentagons, all meeting at a point in the middle. Okay, the classic soccer ball has only one hexagon between the three pentagons. You know. Anyway, I hope this helps. There's a lot of confusing stuff. What I haven't talked about here is how you can use all of this to create some formulas and stuff to predict how many pieces of paper a tile <laughs> will give you. That's a, a little complicated, but, uh, but it does work. You can do that kind of thing. Um, but explore. Pick a tile, draw a tile, and uh, try to make a buckyball. Start small. You know, but you will probably need hundreds of fizz units to do it. So good luck. <laughs>